been anywhere on social media recently, you will have seen Halara everywhere, all over TikTok, all over Instagram, all over YouTube, and I'm so excited to finally be putting them to the test because I've seen so much about them that I thought it was my turn to give them a try. I've become a bit of a gym girly this year, and so I'm always on the hunt for plus size friendly workout clothes because trust me, it's a bit hard out there. Not every brand makes their workout gear for plus size people, and when they do, sometimes it's not the best quality. You know, we're gonna be doing some squat tests today. If I squat and you can see through, that's not gonna work for me. So I'm really excited to see what Halara's got to offer. They also have more um, like normal clothing as well. Like we've got some dresses, we've got some trousers, which are gonna be great for the office, hopefully. So I'm really excited to see what different kinds of things they've got to offer. Halara are very kindly sponsoring today's video, so thank you for that. But as I say to every single brand when I start working with them, whether a video is gifted or whether it's sponsored, I'm still gonna give you guys my 100% truthful thoughts and opinions. So let's put Halara to the test today. They have very kindly given me a discount code, which I'll pop on the screen and in the description down below. It is Trina15 and it'll save you 15% off your order in case you do see anything that you want to try out for yourself. I know a lot of us will be really harnessing that new year energy and trying to use that to motivate us. I know that I'm planning to get to the gym a lot more than I've managed recently. Um, so it could be something to treat yourself to in the new year. And just lastly, before I jump on in to get started, if you're new here or if you've watched a few of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please do it doesn't cost you anything at all all you have to do is click that button and it basically just tells you when I'm uploading videos so that you can keep track of all the fun videos that I'm posting and if you enjoy this video if you could give it a like that would be really appreciated too it just tells me that I should keep making videos like this if you do enjoy them so let's jump on in to this first outfit which is just so cute. I am loving this little colour combo, so I'm really excited. Let's start with the leggings, because you know that's what we're here to really test. So let me tell you about these leggings. So these are the Ultra Sculpt High Waisted Side Pocket Plus Size Shaping Training Leggings. These are in the colour Dawn Brown, and I got them in the size 2X. I was kind of in between sizes, so I've got some things in a 1X and some things in a 2X. So these are in the 2X. These feel good. They feel really, oh, really soft and smooth. They are full length on me, which is great because I'm a tall girly at five foot nine, and sometimes I do struggle to get things to be actually full length. They feel so nice, and this colour is so cute. It's like a, a brown with a bit of green in that makes it almost khaki, but it's still more brown than khaki. So I love that. We do have the side pockets that it was telling you about. So you could put your gym card in if your gym has a card like mine does, or your phone, maybe your AirPods. Um, they are high waisted. I do prefer my leggings just to come up maybe an inch more just to give me just a little bit more um, coverage on the belly, but they, they are high waisted. I just like ultra high waisted. <laughs> like if you want to come up to my bra, I'd be quite happy with that. Um, I think the 2X fits really well. I feel really supported and I feel compressed, which is kind of what I want because if I'm going to be like jumping around, I don't want everything to be jiggling because that just, it's just not comfortable. It can cause chafing and irritation. I want to be secure so that, I mean, let's, we'll hold my boobs because they're never secure, but like my belly isn't moving around. Yeah, it's staying, it's moving a little bit, but like if I didn't have some kind of compression, it would be doing, it would be doing that and I'd be taking off. So it's really good for that. Like if I'm jogging or if I'm, I don't know, just doing a lot of movement, I want my belly to feel secure. So they do that. I think they're great. We're going to have to do the squat test though, because you know, that's what's going to tell us one, are they going to stay up? And two, are they going to go see through when I'm going to reveal myself to the world? So let's do a little squat test and hope for the best. If I blur this out, then that tells you everything you need to know because I'm not here to be like exposing myself or demonetizing myself. So if it's blurred, then it's not past the test. So let's see, let's do a little squat. Let's not, let's not comment on my form. <laughs> okay, down we go. They feel really good. Like they're staying up nicely. Let's see if I can uh, show you from the front. Like they're staying up really nicely. Um, I had a tiny bit of a roll there, let's try again. 
yeah there's the tiniest bit of roll like this much rolls over um but that is fine i have had much worse but as you can see i am kind of bulging over the top a little bit so that is gonna push up push down a little bit on the fabric so i don't mind that at all i'm gonna say let me look in the mirror let me see can you i'm like ah, in the mirror um yeah i think they are pretty solid I couldn't see anything, so that's really good. I'm so excited about these, I feel so comfortable. Yes, <laughs> we've got quite a few pairs of leggings to try, so we'll see what I think of the others, but we're starting off strong, I really like these. I am a bit worried about the 1Xs that I um, have to try because the 2X feels perfect. So we'll see how the 1X feels, but I love these. I really love the color. Like I said, I think it goes so nice with this dusky pink. So yeah, these are a great start for me. So next up we have this top, which is the round neck, crisscross plain plus size sports top in lemonade pink. And I got this in a 1X. I am smaller on the top than I am on the bottom. I probably could have got this a size smaller on the top um, because when I'm in the gym, no, when I'm in the gym, I don't mind my tops being a little bit looser, but when I'm in yoga, I need skin tight tops because if I'm doing a downward dog and my top is too baggy, it falls over my face. So I probably wouldn't wear it in this size to yoga, but when I'm in the gym, this is the perfect size. I don't want to be too tight in the gym. Like if I'm weightlifting, I need a bit of room to maneuver, um, but it, this wouldn't be yo a yoga top for me. Um, I'd probably need it in a smaller size to make it work, but it's so cute. I love, 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 love this. It feels nice and soft. I love the color and the back is so cute as well. We've got these like crisscross details. I don't have a sports bra on at the minute. I probably should have put a sports bra on for this video, um, but you can see your sports bra peeking through a little bit if you, or whatever bra you're wearing, um, but I don't mind that. I feel like with a lot of sports tops, your sports bra is on show. I think it's kind of, you know, it's fine, um, but I think it's so cute. Like, I absolutely, I keep saying I love this color combo, but I think this is so nice. It's not too thin, but it's not too thick. Um, like, yeah, I just absolutely love this top. Like, how cute is she? I would just wear this on a normal, like, day-to-day -day basis um, because it is that cute. I love this color. I want some leggings in this color, actually, so I'll have to have a look. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely off to an incredible start with both these items. Okay, so the next leggings we have to try are these. These are called the Cloudful Fabric 3.0 High-Waisted Crossover Side Pocket Plain Plus Size Full Length Leggings. They do like to throw the dictionary at these names. I got these in a 1X in the color Peacock. Now, these did go up fine. I was a little bit worried, like I said, because the 2X in the previous leggings fit me perfectly, but this fabric feels a little bit thinner and a little bit more stretchy. Um, so being in the 1X, I was able to get them on. Again, they are full length. They feel so good on the leg. Like, the fabric that they're using is amazing. This fabric definitely feels a little bit different because like I said, it feels a little bit thinner, um, but it still feels really good. And I still feel like nice and compressed and held in place. We do have a side pocket again. Oh, again, these colors go great together. Navy blue and pink. Mm, that just looks nice. Um, yeah, again, from the back, we're looking good. They do have a fun design aspect on them, but it's not necessarily working for me and my body shape. Let me just tuck my top away. So they have these panels here that are like crisscrossing. Can you see? Like there's two bits of fabric here. So you pull them up at the side and they're a bit higher at the side and then they crisscross here. I love the look of it. The problem I'm having is there's no like, um, it's just like the same kind of feeling fabric. Like it's quite thin. There's not like a thick, waistband in there which I tend to need for the band to stay where it is so you can see it really is rolling over and by time I've moved around like done some squats done some moving you can see it's really rolling down so it kind of gets lost on me a little bit but I do have quite a like my tummy comes up quite high, like there's a bit of bulge here, so it is pushing it down. So that is something to bear in mind, like me. I would have hoped, like one little criticism, I would have hoped that they would have thought if these are 
from the plus size range. I mean, probably for most people, but definitely for plus size people, you do need some kind of structure to keep these in place. Um, but I do think it looks really cute and it makes them quite high waisted, but even when they roll down, they are still quite high waisted. So it is okay. It's just a shame because I think that it's such a like cute design. Um, so I do, I do like the concept. It's just not necessarily working out for me. But other than that, they feel really great. I think they passed the squat test again. Um, I had a look in the mirror, there was no problem, unless all of a sudden I've blurred that out, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure from my testing that it was fine. Um, so yeah, again, they feel great. I will definitely wear these. I just wish that this like crossover had been fought through just a little bit further. It's like the final little piece of the puzzle is missing. So that would be a bit of feedback to the brand to maybe think about that in the future. But other than that, these feel great. Like, whoa, <laughs> I can move around quite freely in them. Um, it's just this rolling down that is a little bit of a problem. So the next leggings we have are relatively similar. These are the Cloudful Fabric 3.0 crossover color block seven eighths plus size leggings. So I think the only difference between them is that the other one said they were high-waisted in the name and full length, whereas these say, don't say high-waisted, um, and they say that they're seven eighths. So that makes me think that they're not completely full length, but I'll have to be honest, the, the waistband is sitting in the same place and they feel like the same length. So I know that, I think seven eighths wouldn't have taken that much off. Um, so, you know, I don't think it's a drastic difference. They kind of feel pretty much the same. They're the same kind of fabric, the same kind of fit. We've got, wait, is there no pockets on these? <gasps> okay, so they are different. There's no pockets, why? I feel like they should always have pockets. Am I missing something? No, no pockets. That's a shame. I feel like, I don't know, is it just me? I've always got things that I'm carrying. So just some kind of pocket is always appreciated, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm, I'm, basically my comments are pretty similar. We've got that same crossover that is rolling over. These do, for the fact that the other ones said high-waisted in the name, I'm not saying that these aren't meant to be high-waisted, it's just they don't have it in the name. They do feel a little bit more high-waisted on the back. Like the previous ones were coming down to about here, whereas these have come up a little bit more. So I do like that. Um, but I feel like everything I said about the last leggings kind of stands for these ones. Like they still feel absolutely great. I love the fit. Um, wish that the rolling wasn't happening, but everything still stands. Like we've got the squat test. Again, let me check in the mirror. <laughs> Absolutely no problem. Um, so yeah, just like the last ones, I really, really do like these. Just wish that we had a bit of a thicker banding to stop the rolling happening. So next up we have the final pair of leggings. So these are in a 1X again, like the previous ones, which I couldn't remember if I'd said or not. These are the Pat It Off Pet Hair Resistant High Waisted Crossover Plus Size Leggings in Burn Olive. So these are interesting. The idea with these is that um, pet hair doesn't stick to them. So I thought they'd be quite interesting to try. They're also lint resistant and water resistant. They're breathable, non-see-through, squat proof. There's so many claims with these leggings. So I thought we had to try them. Um, they've got the same crossover effect as the previous ones. So everything I sort of said still stands. Um, they feel really good. These feel again, a bit more high waisted um, from the back, which is great. We've got some pockets from the side, which I'm really thankful for. Um, <clears throat> so I'm really interested to give these a proper try. Um, summer doesn't really shed, so I can't test them out with Summer, but Max, who comes to stay with us quite often, he does shed a little bit more. This is Adam's parents' dog. Um, so I thought that they'd be good for that sort of situation. I am interested. They said they're like water resistant, so I'm gonna make a mess here, but we've gotta test that out. If we can't test the pet claim, we can test the water resistant. I've seen like videos of people pouring water on these and then just, uh, rolling right off so we're in an interesting um interesting little <laughs> position here how am i going to do this without soaking myself i should have thought this through but i wasn't planning it okay we've got some water in the straw right let's can you see here let's see if the water rolls off we're winning you ready did you see that the water literally just rolled straight off oh my gosh wait hang on we're gonna have to do that again have I got more water? Like, look, can you see? That's so cool. Okay. <laughs> so if you're out running in the rain, like, oh my God, they, they feel dry to the bone. 
that that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so if you have a pet or if you're like legs get super sweaty or if you're going to be running out in the rain i think these would be really good for you um so yeah everything about the fit is pretty similar they do have a little bit more fabric on the leg so if you've got longer legs then these might be good for you if you want to get that full length um but yeah i think they're great let's do the squat test again yeah all good i don't know why i did that that's so cringy i should edit that out but i probably won't um but yeah no these are absolutely great you'll have to let me know if you have these leggings and you have a pet that does shed a lot if they work um because yeah i'm gonna have to definitely test these out next time we've got max to stay then lastly for the more like active wear section we have this really cute little cropped hoodie it's like a really thin fabric but i've got this because when I'm doing yoga classes, at the beginning it can be a little bit colder and then at the end where we have sort of, um, I can't remember the proper word for it, but we, we sort of lie down for a few minutes and it's sort of like a meditative state, meditative, meditate, meditative state, um, I can't remember the yoga phrase for it, ah, but we just sort of lie there at the end and just stay still for a few minutes and sometimes it's nice to put like a um, something back on because you can get a little bit um, colder as your body's cooling down so I thought this would be great for that so I'll tell you about it and then I'll put it on this is the hooded drawstring cutout plus size cropped casual hoodie sweatshirt in mist grey in a 1x so let's give this a go um, I think it's going to go so cute with the colour of this um, top oh, I, oh it feels so soft this feels nice let's have a look I imagine that people tend to wear this when they over a sports bra rather than over a t-shirt because if I had a, just a sports bra on then you'd see skin here so it does look a little bit um, silly with the top underneath but let's just tuck that in so that you can't see it this is gonna be so good for yoga because it's that skin tight that i was talking about so that when i'm like doing downward dog not that that's downward dog <laughs> um it's not gonna like fall over my face this is so soft and nice it's got the drawstring like they said we've got a little hood though i'm not really a hood girl um but there is a hood if needs be so when i'm running from the gym to my car i can put my hood up i like this a lot i love the color it's super super soft um let me show you it without the top on underneath because then you can get a fuller effect okay that's how it's meant to look i think you can obviously do what you want you can wear the top on underneath but i like this little cutout. like i think that's so cute um i would definitely wear this if i was just wearing like a sports bra and i just wanted to like warm up a little bit um that would definitely be a cute look I love this. I love the colour. Everything has just felt so, so good and so soft and so well made. So I am genuinely impressed. Um, like this is it. It's just great because like I was saying at the beginning of the video, it can be really hard as a plus size person to find good fitting, well made gym wear. So I'm really excited about this. Um, but yeah, this is so cute. I know it's not for everyone with like the cutout and the crop, but I like it and it just feels really, really nice and cosy. So I will be taking this to my next yoga class for sure. Now, next up, we've got two pairs of trousers and a dress to try because Halara don't just do like active wear, they do like normal clothes for want of a better phrase. Um, so I'm really excited to try these pieces out next. So let's see how they go. So next up we have these trousers. Now I did get them in pink and black in two different sizes so we could test them both out. So we've got the pink ones on first. So let me tell you about these. These are the high-waisted plicated side pocket wide leg waffle casual palace size pants. I got them in rose tan in a 2x and then I got them in uh, black I think is the shade for the others. Where is it on my list? Um, yeah, black in a 1x. So these are meant to be really stretchy at the waist. It says they have four way stretch fabric, which I can see they are very stretchy. Um, we've got two side pockets. There's 12 colors to choose from. That is amazing. And the waffle fabric provides loose loose comfort and fabric resistant to wrinkling that I need in my life because I've told you this multiple multiple times there is not much I hate more in the world than needing to iron I just will not do it so the fact that these are hopefully not going to wrinkle and crinkle you know is just amazing so when it comes to trousers I look for two things I look for them to be high-waisted no three things high-waisted loose on the belly wide on the leg 
And that's my preference for trousers. Jeans, completely opposite. I want them tight on the leg. Well, I still want them uh, high waisted, but I want them tight on the leg. But with, with trousers, I want them to be loose and baggy. So the fit on the leg is absolutely perfect. The length is gray. I freaking love this color. Um, they are high-waisted. I would just prefer them to be a tiny, tiny touch more high-waisted, but that's sort of my preference. These definitely class as high-waisted. I just look for just maybe maybe another half an inch. Not much at all. Um, they do fit on my belly, though. I would prefer, I guess because I'm pulling them up quite high, they're, they're sort of, you know, cutting into my belly a little bit, but if I pull them back down a little bit, it gives me enough room to manoeuvre, but my tummy starts to do this when I like don't have them as high-waisted, so um, that's just a preference for me. But they fit really nicely. They are like really nice and stretchy. They are not like, they're not a real zip or anything. There's just like that piece there for effect. You can see the waffle in um, texture in the fabric, hopefully. Um, it's not very obvious at all. Like when I step back from the mirror, you can't necessarily see that. Um, so I love these. I just wish they were a tiny bit more high-waisted and there's a little bit more room in the belly. I think I'm gonna struggle with the 1X, not because of the waist, but because of my belly. Like I carry the majority of my weight in my tummy, and so it can be quite tricky for me. Um, so we'll give the others a try, but I think I do need the 2X in these. So I really, really, really like these. I just don't love the way that they're fitting on me. So if you have like less of a belly or you don't mind them not being as high-waisted as I personally need them, then I'd definitely recommend them. They're just not necessarily perfect for me. So this is the pair in black. You can see they are the 1X, so they still fit like really nicely around the waist. They're just even less high waisted for me and more clingy in the belly. It's probably a bit more forgiving because of them being black. Um, I, I just, with these kind of trousers, I like to wear them with like a top tucked in. That's my, my sort of styling preference. Um, so it's not like I want to cover this area up. Um, so yeah, like I said, they're not completely working for me, but they are a really nice trouser. If you're looking for something like, it's not smart casual because they look smart, but they're smart comfy. So I think they would be great for the office if you want to look really nice and put together and smart, but you want to feel really comfy and cozy. I think that's what these would be great for. Um, they're just not quite working for me, but we do have a dress that I'm very excited to try. So let's move on to that. Okay, so this is the dress. This is the round neck, twisted cutout, ruched drawstring, split hem bodycon, midi casual plus size dress in a 1X in Rainforest. Now, this dress is definitely pushing me to the verge, maybe slightly outside of my comfort zone, but I wanted to try it because I am getting a little bit more comfortable with more sort of figure hugging dresses. This is just probably one, one step too far for now, but hopefully in the near future, I will feel a bit more confident in this dress. It's not gonna be for everyone I know, but I wanted to try a dress and I wanted to try something a little bit different. So we do have a crossover here at the top and then we've got a little bit of a cutout, but I do think you could tuck it in a little bit if you wanted to. So you've kind of got a little two in one. So to, like, depending on how you're feeling, you can, you know, have it I, I, like tucked away or tucked out. I don't mind this part of me being on show at all. I really think it's a quite cute little moment. We've got a roughly like drawstring situation, ruched, ruched drawstring situation here. It is full length on one side and then split on the other. You can tie these and ruch it up a little bit more which obviously makes the slit a little bit more risque. So I do like that it's versatile. And actually, once I ruch it up a little bit, I do feel a bit more confident. Like I said, this is this is out there for me, but I do hope to start, you know, feeling more and more comfortable in clothes like this. The fabric is somewhat similar to the thinner leggings. So it is, like it's a bodycon dress, there's no getting away from that. Um, but the fabric feels nice and soft. It is hugging every single part. Um, but I think from the back, it looks so cute. I love this color. <gasps> Guys, I don't feel completely there just yet, but I kind of do like it. The same. I love the dress. 
This isn't a comment on the dress, the dress is beautiful. It's more of a comment about how I feel in this dress. It's fitting as I would expect and hope this dress would. It's just about my body feeling comfortable in the dress, you know? But if you're looking for something a bit more sexy, a bit more slinky, but that still feels really nice and comfortable, then I, I, would, I would check this out. I would check this out. It's definitely, definitely something I'm gonna play with. I really like this rouge effect and the, yeah, I like this. I just, I'm just not, I'm not completely there just yet, but I think it's a really cute, really well-made, well-feeling, like good feeling dress. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for something like this, I definitely recommend it, but just be aware that it is gonna show everything, everything off. So that is everything I've got to show you in today's testing Halara video. You'll have to let me know a, what you think of everything I've tried, and B, if you would like me to test out more, because they had a whole heap more to offer, so I could definitely do that. Just let me know in the comments. Thank you so, 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 so much to Halara for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it, and thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.